These are my favorite kind of gloves because you can use the fingery ones, which is good for driving and smoking cigarettes outside. And you can use the fingerless ones, I mean. And you probably can't see it because the light's bad and the camera doesn't have good resolution, but nah, maybe you can see a little. They're twinkly, which is good because I like sparkly stuff. So anyway, there's a pair of gloves, just so that you know there's a pair of these. So I can do fingerless and I can do fingered and I can do extra heavy duty when I need to because extra heavy duty stuff. Plus, these are skinny enough that these will fit under my leather gloves that I use for driving and stuff. But they're a little thin so they're not quite warm enough. So the black parts of these gloves can go under my driving gloves and that'll help. This is huge. The good thing about this is it's fuzzy on the inside too. Sometimes I have to turn these bathrobes around so that the fuzz is on the inside so I get the insulation factor. And these are really cute. I don't know if they're going to fit. I have ears because I have really big feet. I wear like a size 8 or 9 in men's shoes. And I don't know how long these little dingle balls are going to survive in here. Because there's not much room to walk around and things like this get caught. I'll show you my favorite bedroom slippers. These are my favorite bedroom slippers in the history of the universe. But I can't wear them in here because they're too big. I'm not kidding. I've only got about this much space. Yeah. This much space to walk to the bathroom and about, about the same to get to the kitchen. But these are really cool. I'll probably not wear them with the heels on. So I'll probably wear them like... Um, scuffy things. Well, I might wear them just for in bed. Let me put them in my shelf over the bed. Because they're really pretty nice and they're that this really soft gushy fleece. And I don't want them to get um, dirty. A lot of dirt gets tracked in here that I have a hard time getting out. I'm going to take this off and then I'll talk because I finally got it warm enough in here and now like I'm roasting in this. But this came just in time because um, my other bathrobes are dirty and it's too snowy and muddy to go to the laundromat. And this is the only bathrobe I've got left. It's a really good one. It's heavy, heavy terry cloth. And it goes all the way down to my ankles. But it weighs a lot for one thing. And for another thing, it's got big rolly sleeves and stuff. I'm trying to pass through this small space. Things get knocked off. This is uh um, a lot less stiff and it'll go past things easier. I gotta take it off. Hold on. Your bathrobe's been taken over by the cat. That's Chaco. He's 20 years old. Yeah, see, I like fingerless gloves. I have these. These were on sale for a dollar a pair. They're pure cotton. And I cut the fingers out myself. And for some reason, I got lucky the way they're knitted. They didn't unravel. They just kind of roll up a little. So I use these all the time to work outside in the cold. So um, I was kind of feeling bad because they're all getting messed up. But um, now I don't have to feel bad. I can go ahead and let this pair get messed up. I've got some I haven't even cut the fingers out of yet. Because they were like, I believe they were a dollar a pair or less for pure cotton gloves. And I bought a bunch of them while they were that cheap. So... Plus, things get lost and stuff, you know. So, yeah, my other two bathrobes are made out of that new, um, real silky, minky kind of fleece stuff. And I was wearing them all the time, but they only come down to about the hip because they're like bathing bathrobes, not lounging around the house bathrobes. Um, and so I'd always have to wear them with sweatpants or leggings or uh, leg warmers or something, you know. Um, cause just wearing a gown underneath, no way. Or pajama bottoms. I have some, um, flannel pajama bottoms. I have flannel pajama sets. Um, yeah, I got the house warm today. So, I'm wearing an actual seersucker cotton, like, for summertime old lady house dress. Love these things. They got big ass pockets in them. I can get them as dirty as I want and just throw them out cause they only cost a dollar or two at the thrift stores. Chaco thinks I'm talking to him, so he's got to get right in the middle. So, yeah, um, so I've got really old, crappy slippers. What I do is when things like winter shoes and summer shoes go on sale, 
after like after Christmas all the slippers and stuff will go on sale so I got about five pairs of these and as you see I'm wearing them out but until that hole wears through I'm gonna keep wearing them so I got lots of bedroom slippers for just that reason and then I got these they're like fake Crocs and these were like 50 cents a pair and I bought like about all they had I think it was about six pairs these are what I run around in in the summertime. They were like a quarter a pair. I bought ten pairs of them. So I got them stashed all over the house. The only problem is, you see this pink stuff? When you wear them in water, you see what happens? They unglue themselves. Yeah. The reason I like those is they're waterproof and they're sticker proof. We have um, goat heads out here and it's like getting shot with a nail gun. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and the beads. I put the beads on the dashboard of the truck so they won't get ruined. I have a, a necklace hanger up here in the bathroom, but they'll just get lost in the shuffle in there. So I've got them on my dashboard because they'll look prettier there. So, yeah. Thank you very much. And happy... Cat's all over the bathroom again. Happy Festivus. And, um, no, I don't need to take anything back. It's great because that rope, I put a lot of stuff on underneath. Like, I could wear sweats and stuff underneath it. The only thing is those zippers, uh, you see, it's the ne same neckline as this pretty much. And these zippers, the wind blows through. So, I'll probably be wearing something underneath. But just for, in an emergency, if I have to get up in the middle of the night, like a phrase, up to no good or something. Um, if I have to get up in the middle of the night and not be naked, because I sleep in bed naked, there's more room if I'm naked. Um, that's really easy to put on half a slip, because all i got to do is throw it over my head. And you've got double extra large, or maybe triple extra large, I couldn't quite read the tag. But it's extra giant huge, so um, it's really easy to slip it on. It's kind of slippery on naked skin, so it goes on real quick. Um, and because it's that weird minky fleecy stuff, It'll go on even over flannel without getting all stuck and stuff. So thank you. This is actually a very good thing. Because like I said, the other two bathrobes are out in the laundry. And there is just too much snow and mud and ice right now to even bother going to the laundromat. Because I like to hang my stuff outside. I wait for the snow to melt off all the canopies. And I don't want the wind to blow anything down in the mud. So there's not going to be any laundry doing. And I was getting kind of hard up for a bathrobe. So thank you very much. And happy festivus. Bye.